Hi, this is Thunji from BorderWork.com and I'm going to be going through the setup process for the Logitech uh, review uh, with uh, Google TV. So uh, I'm probably going to skip a couple of things, but basically this is just a general setup process. Uh, actually, to turn on the device, once you plug it in, it does light up, but you actually have to turn on your, um, your keyboard by switching on the on button. It will actually tell you that initially. And I'm using the uh, mouse pad. I'm gonna hit next and go through. It tells you setup takes about 20 minutes, including maximizing screen, internet, uh, set up your Google account, uh, set up your TV service, and set up your TV and uh, AV receiver controls. So I'm gonna go with that, and it's gonna maximize my screen push. I actually use the uh, D-pad for that, so I can actually maximize. As you can see, it's just going to do that okay next maximize on the right so you get the picture here okay so gone through the screen maximization um, now I can either go through a wireless, do the wireless setup, or I can do the ethernet cable. Um, I don't really feel like actually doing a wireless setup. Um, all I have to do is plug in my ethernet cable to the device and I should have a connection. Um, so I'm going to do the, I'm actually going to do the uh, wired setup. Uh, but I can also set up the wireless. But actually, I'll, I'll do. It says Ethernet cable connected. You can see that comes up. You can always switch back to the wireless. Let's just do a quick look at that. Scanning for network, it would do that. Now the whole process takes uh, has, uh, as you can see, uh, twelve steps and step number four, and um, we can go through this. And basically, it'll scan, and then you find your network, and you have a password. You log in with the password. So. Um, it tells you you can use the arrow key. So these are the networks that are available and I can log in into the network that way. But I'm just going to go with the Ethernet cable. Just wanted to show you guys that. System updates. A couple of updates. It's take, take 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to cut through those eventually and um, we'll uh, see how it goes. So our system is up to date and now let's sign into our Google account. Password, sign in, easy process since you have a keyboard, so it works pretty well. So welcome in board of work. I don't know if you can sign in multiple accounts, but we'll see. Uh, help Google make it better, send user statistics, uh, sure. I'm sure they will get all my data with that. Logitech, um, my screen accept. Retrieving data. Have to enter zip code. This might also apply to my TV settings. So I will do that off camera. Okay, uh, zip code put in. Next step is one more Logitech uh, legal notice. Accept. Now enter for um, TV programming this time, which I'm um, off camera again. So the last uh, TV has been set up. Now the TV setup process comes up next. It says you have a cable box satellite connected to your Logitech with HDMI in, and um, then out from your Logitech to your TV, which I've already done that. It's very easy. Uh, HDMI into your Logitech box from your cable box and HDMI out. So since I've already done that, I'm gonna hit next. TV setup and my TV is already set up. It's that quick and easy. I didn't do anything other than that. So uh, select next if you've seen TV playing, which is playing in the background. Select your lineup provider. I have lovely Comcast. Uh, set top box. Uh, you use it. So uh, you have to make sure and check what 
box you're using um, to select. I know it's a Motorola box, so I'm exactly sure which one. So I have to go through. I could skip the set this process and go through it. I'm just going to skip it because I'm exactly sure. Actually, let me just check. All right, so the good thing here is that with the uh, Motorola boxes, the actually the uh, info is actually in front of the box, so um, it's easy to actually set that up. That's what I have, DX32. Identify setup. Take a few minutes here. Set up TV. Do you receive channels such as CNN USA? Yep, you do. Depends on your cable service and what you're paying for. Uh, HBO Showtime, yes. Select channels. So you select premium channels you do receive and don't. Um, you can just scroll down through Indieplex. Um, so yeah, we can go through this whole process. Uh, I believe I do receive all those. So I'm just gonna hit done. Set up TV service, change channel. Now you can use your remote to change channel, access TV guideline, and access your TVR if applicable, available. Um, the original TV control is sometimes needed to complete the setup, so keep it nearby. Always have that in mind. And TV setup. What brand TV do you have? Samsung. Uh, model number. Uh, I believe is LN-46. This is a C650. I believe. Um, uh, this is just off my head. You can always skip this step if you want to. Uh, to select the input name on your device. What input number is your device in? So what HDI input? I am on four. So you can turn off your TV with the review box and all that kind of fun stuff. So this is just to make sure that uh, everything is well connected and sync, I believe so. Now your AV receiver setup, I don't have an AV receiver, so I'm just going to skip that. Are you sure you want to skip this? Yes, I will skip, but it's pretty much the same process of getting your receiver to be synced with your uh, review box so you can actually control it with your review. So updating account information. Finish it setup. So basically, gives you a summary that you know your Ethernet network. That's your Google account. Your providers Comcast. Your setup box is that. Your Samsung TV, which is my Samsung TV, and AV receiver. AV receiver not set up. So that is the complete setup process, and we should be in with uh, Google TV. And there's a little demo video. Which surprisingly we cannot skip. So that's the little demo video that comes with once you finish the startup process. Now we start to complete your setup. So it's going to restart. Uh, welcome, restart. Please take a quick tour. Skip the quick tour. And we are in. So that's the setup process for your Logitech review box. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I'm going to go through the other aspects of this review, looking at the different apps, looking at the applications, the bookmarks, how to use. Uh, search functions and all that kind of fun stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, any questions, let us know. This is from the E from Borderworks saying thank you. 
Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages, uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and also hit up the website for just pictures and screen grabs of the whole setup process. So this is Sunny for Butterworks saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.